Bought Park features seven coasters including five thrill coasters, but haven't got a new coaster since 2012 when the Swarm opened eight years ago. So, in this video, I've made it my job to find out why they haven't got a new coaster in so long. So basically I'm doing speculation videos again, so... Okay, so if we look at Fort Park's sort of pattern of coaster investments, typically they get a new coaster every three years, excluding the addition of Nemesis and Colossus. So by that logic, we should have had a new coaster in 2015 enough coaster in 2018 but obviously it's understandable that once you have the park relatively full the rate of new investments would slow due to space running out so let's move on to 2016 where the next major investment was due to open however this particular arrival came with problems including one that four park can't seem to get rid of rmc 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 But along with UK enthusiasts craving an RMC, we all know that Ambram's Ghost Train was massively overdue and most we all know it, I don't know why I'm telling you it, but still. And we also know that it was massively over budget and all that. And at the end of 2016, Fort Park made it very clear that in 2017 they were going to reimagine the ghost train, reimagined, and essentially try again. Now, this could be enough of reason that Thorpe haven't had enough of coaster major. Now, this could be enough of reason that Thorpe haven't had enough of major coaster investment yet. As though the ghost train gets quite a few queues, it's never attracted people to the park. In fact, in 2016, the nearest 10,000. Attendance stayed exactly the same as the year before in 2016, in, in 2015, I mean, and and even Bouncilla attracted more visitors to the park than the ghost train did, which isn't really a surprise because who wouldn't take a rented bouncy castle over a over twenty million pound ghost train? Like it's fair to say, Thorpe lost their gamble when trying out a world cup first dark class ride but it's a shame because i feel like Fort really needs a good dark ride but after the failure of 2016 it's probably going to be a long time another reason they could be holding off besides merlin don't trust Fort with their money is that there's not really much space left so site a and loggers and possibly strip behind Monk's Walk, like next to Fort Lake, like that Fort, the park, the park at Fort Lake, so I'll just circle it on the video, could be a spot, like, but that would probably be quite an awkward spot, because it'd have to start on one side of Monk's Walk, and it'd have to go over Monk's Walk, and it would it'd be a really nice spot for a hyper coaster, actually, but yeah, getting a new coaster every three years just wouldn't be possible anymore without running out of space, and to go on like Paper Park with loads of good coasters, like it's a nice park. Like you kind of need good. It's nice to have good flat rides and experienced rides as well. Like Orton Towers, for example. Like how like they've got one thrill ride or something. And yeah, go a walk for through experience looks like a cheap new addition. They are actually quite enjoyable. Uh, quite enjoyable attractions that um, that can operate throughout the majority of the year and I don't even know what I'm saying anymore basically I'm saying that walkthrough attractions are good because they're normally running and if it breaks down it's most likely to be a bulb change and not like a cable launch and my final reason is that they just can't simply be buffered like the head of creators is just a gamer who loves gaming whilst in a escape room that just so happens to be a 90 foot long bouncy castle. So yeah, that's my third and final reason. Okay, so I know this video is just a lot of me talking about the failed history of Dan Brown's Ghost Train. 
and kind of to an extent back in Merlin and now like that's it's not I don't back every investment but like I appreciate them and it's um like I think I do get a, quite a bit of slack for not doing a coaster every three years ago even though it's like it's just not possible anymore to do a coaster in every three years with Thorpe and like if there was a coaster every three years we wouldn't have got I've got a wonderful additions of like lumber jump and timber tugboat and bounce Silla and um yeah sub please goodbye